at this time of the year it's my thoughts turn to not just keeping the bulbs well watered but fe uh, feeding them getting the right food into them at the right time this is a nice pot full here a small pot of Narcissus Susani the cross between Cantabricus and Triandrus a naturally occurring hybrid found in the wild this one I actually made in cultivation using Narcissus Cantabricus petunioides and a Triandrus we had so that's it but it's more when the flowers start to go over here we have a pot of Cantabricus petunioides starting to go over with good indications there from the swelling on the capsule I'm slightly hopeful that I'll get a good seed crop but to ensure that there's a few key environmental factors that have to become right now we have control over a few of them under the glass here and that is watering and feeding so they mustn't ever dry out but at this stage the watering must be reduced a bit because they don't need so much they don't have to make all that new growth of stem and leaves that's all there but they are turning their thoughts to making and developing that seed if they've been fertilized properly and also for the bulbs to start swelling up and produce the bud for next next year that bud will form over the next month or six weeks to give you the flower next year so getting food into them is good and here's another pot going over now this is interesting because you'll notice this is the hybrid Dawnstead and you may notice there that there's very little swelling in the capsules because in my experience Dawnstead has never ever set seed for me like many hybrids it appears to be I won't say sterile but very infertile so at this time what we need to get into the plants is potassium sulphate of potash potassium is the K in the NPK formula or K for Kalium now I use a, a white powder form that I buy in garden centres and supermarkets and the feeding process is very easy just using using a spoon I just tap it down and I'll come up and these are these are seven centimetre pots in here so I'll, I'll just put a wee a wee sprinkle onto each pot where the flowers are, are just going over just like that just a wee sprinkling onto the onto the surface and a level spoonful like that will will, will cover a number of pots and then once we've got that all on the next thing is to get your water get the watering can here sorry to have to move you about but doing one handed here is one hand on the camera and one hand watering and then just a case of watering over where we've put the potassium and you'll see as that drains through most of it's taken away down into the pot here again we put it on here just watering into the pot a good soaking and then they'll drain away and hopefully that will mean that these plants will go on and flower again next year because I've given them plenty water and the right food to take them through.